All right, what's going on, guys? We're going to hop into Session Skate Sim today, but in VR. There's a brand new mod, guys, and it's not just for Session Skate Sim. It's actually for any Unreal Engine game that's available on PC. So this is just one example of a game that you can turn into a VR game with this mod. There's also a few mods available for Session that make this experience a little bit easier to play. You can hide the character and you can place some shoes on the board to make it feel like a VR game. It's super easy, guys. After you download this, all you have to do is open it up and click run in VR. It's really insane how easy it is. So this is all you have to do, guys, to get the game set up. You run uh, Session Skates in the game. Then after you're in the game, you can open up this uh, this app that we downloaded. Then right here, you have to go to the drop down menu and select Session as the game. And all you do is click inject into VR mode. It doesn't say that right now. You can terminate it and stuff and turn stuff off. Here, there's different settings to mess around with. But I'm currently playing on default settings, guys. So the first thing you have to do in VR, guys, is set up the camera so you are not, you know, beside or behind your character. So what I can do is use Chris Cole or my skater as a reference and try to get my head into his head. And after my head is where his face is, I can then delete the character and my, my head will be placed perfectly above the skateboard. I can look down and see my board and stuff, my feet. I'm perfectly inside of Chris Cole's face. So that's perfect. So now what I can do, guys, is use the mod that we downloaded, which is pressing shift on the keyboard. And it actually opens up. I can see this in VR as well. Um, there's a toggle player, which will turn off the player completely. But I kind of prefer to have the swap shoes option because that will show you your feet. So when you're goofy or regular, it'll show you what stance you're actually standing in. And when you're doing tricks, well, that's really cool. You can change the shoes as you're playing the game. That's really sick. Here's a pair of, uh, what do we got? Those are sick. So having the shoes there will help you with uh, landing tricks, honestly. It's really good to have that. We can close the menu and now go over with the D-pad. And that is it, guys. I'm playing Session Skate Sim in VR right now. I think the best way to do this for me, at least, would be to sit sideways. So it kind of feels like skateboarding. So let's try to do this. So this is insane. I'm at the, I believe it's called Petrus Skate Park. In the game, if you guys can't hear me, I'm sorry. There's a microphone in front of me. I keep looking around though. Damn, it's like, it's so cool to get like a sense of scale of the actual mountains in like the, the bridge here. It's crazy. All right. Wait, I'm off the board now. I'm walking around. Okay, so the walk, the walking camera is not set up properly. All right, so I guess I'll place my board down. All right, let's do a kickflip. And then hit this ledge here for like a front crook. Oh my God, yo. Dude, that was insane looking. The coolest part of this is it actually kind of makes the game easy, easy to track like the ledges and stuff. Kick foot front no slide or front crook almost. Bro, it just, it's insane, yo. Tray flip. Damn, guys, this feels like real life. It's kind of crazy. Like session in a lot of ways, like people will say that it lacks flow. Like, unless you're really good at the game, this game, it's really hard to play. Um, maybe that's the, the best wording to say it, the lacks flow. But, like, when you're playing VR, it really does feel like you're skateboarding. And honestly, to me, the game feels easier to play in VR because you're, like, you're right there. I'm, I'm like, not missing much. All right, we got some big handrails over here, too. It's like a back tail slide. I don't know how this will feel. So, I'm not really turning my body. That felt kind of crazy. There's a manual pad over here. Do like a pop up to a nose manual with the nollie flip out. Yo! And hit this transition. Go ollie over. That felt pretty cool. Do a kickflip on the transition. Oh, then I bailed. It's a bit jarring when you bail a little bit because it doesn't really match up what's, what's happening on your, uh, with your headset. So again, guys, this is not a native VR game. We're using a mod, but it feels like a VR game. I don't know if you guys have played the VR skater game that's available out there, but I, I really prefer, honestly, this. It feels amazing. I think after we play this, we'll switch over to a different map and look at maybe New York City downtown. And you can also adjust the resolution, guys, and play at high resolutions. Keep in mind, I said this earlier, but when you play this by yourself, you probably won't be recording it or streaming it. I mean, I would recommend not doing those things because you could play at a better resolution if you're not recording, right? 
Oh, dude, I want to do this. Let me try to back up and hit this ledge here. I wish my player's body was closer. All right, let's go for like a simple line. Do the backside crooked grind. I could do this in real life. So this is, should be decently easy in the game. No pinch there though. Ollie up the bank or the, the ledge, then back tail. Back to the lip slide. Kick flip no slide. All right, let's so ollie up or kick flip up this. And then we'll do a kick flip back tail. Oh. Kick flip no slide. Do a hard flip here. A hard flip manual. Oh, I just missed the manual. All right, I think I'm gonna switch the map after this line here. Let's do a kick flip the corner. Really nice. We'll shove it up. One side shove. Big spin, no slide. Ooh, to a crook. That was a bigger spin. I'm gonna hit this manual pad right here. Let's do a nose manual up. Nolly flip, manual down. No way. Oh, I bailed on that. A hard flip front, no slide. Ooh, yeah, right. That'd be insane to do in real life. Hard flip, nolly, heel flip, no slide. Nice. And then go over here just to kick up of the corner. Ooh, I kind of bailed out. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm getting a little bit sick, but it's not too bad. I mean, this is definitely playable. It is a mod. It's not really official. There's no tra like hand tracking and stuff, but it is playable and it's really good looking when you're actually in the headset, but it is a little bit motion sickiness when you start moving around too much. All right, so let's switch the map up. Should I go in the sewers or in the mall? Like this is one of the best looking maps in the entire game. This is DLC. I just bought this recently on my stream, actually. It might take a while to load, guys. But are you, are you seeing this? Oh, there's Chris Cole over there. So I have to get rid of Chris again. Oh, it might be a little bit laggy. I'm not really sure. Ooh, ooh. It's a bit laggy in the headset. I don't think it's laggy for you guys, though. This is insane looking. What? I'm just kind of cruising around. I just want to look at the area. There's a lot of like, it's really... Oh! <laughs> this is a really packed area. It's hard to skate this. Oh, I'm already getting pretty sick. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I, I want to look at more maps before I leave you guys with this mod check out. But this is a game or a mod that you have to play in bursts. I've been playing for like 20 minutes and it's a little bit too much. You need to play for like 5-10 minutes at a time, I think. Uh, or even get used to it because I haven't played this very much and I'm already getting motion sickness a little bit. Alright. Back it up. Hit this double set. Try to pump it up. Nolly flip. Oh god. Ooh. Nice nolly flip there. Try to hit a... Ooh, okay. I'm sliding. I can't get in though. There we go. Is this new? This obstacle? I'm not sure if that was there before. Can't go over the hip. Do a stall on this if I can. Kick foot nose blunt. Oh, lip slide. Oh, that was kind of disorienting. The transition's hard to skate because of how disorienting the 180s are. Oh, my brain. Ooh, blunt. Kick it in. Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Man. My eyeballs. Anyways, guys, that is the Unreal Engine VR mod. I just want to show you guys that because I think it's a pretty big, big deal, honestly. I think a lot of us have been hoping for or wanting a VR skateboarding game. I know there's a few out there. It still needs a little bit of work, you know, to make it look better, but it'd be, it'd be sick to have the hand tracking and stuff like that. Like even without the hand tracking guys, it's really fun to play on controller. Just uh, keep in mind, you want to play in a little short burst. I'm like almost dying right now. I feel like I'm going to throw up a little bit, but it's it's so good to try it out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video here, looking at some new mods for session, let me know if you guys enjoyed this with the like on the video down below. And leave a comment too, guys. I know this mod has been available for a little while, but I haven't seen anything or anybody make a video on it yet on YouTube. So I wanted to sit down and just try it out for you guys. It's a lot to run though. But keep in mind, if you have a VR headset and a PC that can run this, you won't be recording at the same time. So we'll, it'll probably run and look a little bit better 
than what I just showed you guys because my computer was doing so much different things there. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I will see you on stream. I've been streaming a lot on YouTube and Twitch. Make sure to follow my channel on either YouTube or Twitch or both. And I think I might take the day off today because I'm a little bit upset to the stomach right now. But, uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the live stream. All right. Peace.